There's been a story brewing for the past two days that I probably knew I was going to make a video about eventually, but didn't really want to. And it's about a former NFL player, Michael Orr, who was the subject of the 2009 movie, The Blind Side. He has filed a lawsuit against the family that was depicted in that movie and played a significant role in his life. So today I'm going to talk about family. I'm going to talk about relationships and I'm going to talk about greed as I think those are central things that are happening in this story. So before I dive into it, just to remind you, I'm Elia Connie. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and I think it's important that I share details from current news stories and the psychological aspects of those news stories. So that's what this series is, Therapist Reacts. Thanks for being here. Please support me. I cannot make these videos without your support. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let's dive into it. Former NFL player Michael Orr, the inspiration behind the 2009 hit movie The Blind Side, Blind Side is claiming that his adoption, a central element of the Oscar-winning film, is a lie. In a Tennessee court filing, Orr accuses Sean and Lee and Tui, that's the couple that took him into their home, of deceiving him into signing papers he thought were the adoption process, but were actually for conservatorship. There's a lot to unpack in what's going on in this story, and I've watched tons of videos and read lots of articles in preparing to make this video. Basically, Michael Orr was a child growing up without a lot of resources, couch surfing, homelessness, all those things, and the Tui family took him in and he turned out to be an amazingly standout athlete. When he was around 18, they had him sign conservatorship papers. Now they would say they did that so they could help him get a driver's license, health insurance, through the application process to get into the college he went to, which was Ole Miss. That was the purpose of this conservatorship. He is now alleging that he thought he was signing adoption papers that would make them family and he's hurt by this. He is saying that they profited from the book about his life, from the movie that they made, and he wants a share in some of those profits, and he says that he did not get that. Now, that's gonna be litigated. They're gonna do forensic accounting, and they're gonna go through who got what and who got paid, you know, what amounts and those sorts of things, and that'll be that. But I do wanna talk about family. I wanna talk about relationships. I wanna talk about greed. I think it's an amazing thing when someone has grown up in a situation where they're devoid of resources, and the most important resource of all is familial love, and you step in and provide that love to a person. I've actually had people in my life that stepped up and did things to support me and help me grow. Some people within my family and some people outside of my family. And I think that's a beautiful, wonderful thing, actually. I also think that that's how everybody would perceive this story. You know, I didn't watch the movie. I remember when the movie came out, I was really excited to see it. I'm a sports fan, much bigger sports fan uh, back then, but I'm a sports fan. And I remember being interested to see it. And then I saw an interview that Michael Orr did saying that he did not like the way he was depicted in the movie, saying that he was frustrated by that depiction, made him look like he was, a, or, you, I believe he used the word Neanderthal, like he couldn't write or read. and. And, and those sorts of things. Like he just didn't like his depiction and it impacted his career and the way his team viewed him. That made me less interested. Whenever the subject of a movie doesn't like the movie about them, doesn't like they don't feel it's accurate, it removes my desire to go see it. And that was the case with this movie. But I'm sad to see what has happened. When you are the conservator of someone else, it's usually because they don't have the ability to make decisions for themselves. And this happened when Michael Orr was 18. And there was nothing really that would say he could make decisions on his own. But yet, this family created this situation and became his conservator. I'm not sure why. I wasn't there. I don't mean to say, like, accuse him of anything. I'm not sure why. But I will say, when you are the conservator, it's your job to make decisions that are in the best interest of that person, not yourself. So it makes me wonder, and again, these are, I'm just wondering, why did you write a book called The Blind Side that you admittedly like shared profits equally amongst the family? Why, well, that's what they're alleging. That's what the Tui's are responding and saying. Why did you create this movie and why did you have access at all to any of the finances? Again, the Tui's responded saying all the, all the profits were shared equally amongst the family. And my question would be why? 
because your job is to make decisions that are in the best interest of Michael. And even back then, he was saying he did not enjoy these decisions. Also in their response, they're saying that they will allow him out of this conservatorship. But think about it. The only reason a conservatorship should exist is if the person cannot make decisions on their own. This man went on to have a, a lengthy career in the NFL playing professional football, made however much money and, and created a life for himself. It's not really for you to allow him. It's, it's almost like you're viewing him as a child now, even though he's a grown man, he's now uh, retired from the National Football League. He doesn't play professional football anymore. I think there's a part of family dynamics that should be about love and helpfulness and support. And there is a part of the story that is absolutely about greed and wealth. It's a part of the story that's about how you viewed Michael Orr and were you being an opportunist to create things for your family. I'm not sure that's gonna be litigated, but if you wanna be there for somebody, you have to be there for them. You have to support them and love them and encourage them and allow them to become the best version of themselves. Your job as a parent or as a conservator is to make decisions that are in the best interest of this person. And for almost 20 years, Michael Orr has been saying, this is not in my best interest. I have not enjoyed this movie or this experience. I, I saw an interview, and I'm talking about even way back then when it was happening, I saw an interview where he said it was uh, one of the worst decisions he ever made because he simply wanted to be a regular guy in the locker room. And because of the way he was depicted in the movie, like unintelligent, like to play professional football, you have to be smart. You have to memorize plays and all those things. And he said his team viewed him as somebody who was not intelligent, even though he was quite intelligent. So I think the lesson here is we gotta be careful whenever money gets involved, we gotta be careful that the relationship stays sound because I think it sometimes or oftentimes will trigger the human desire to get wealth and greed and accidentally cause hurt. Now, I have no idea what the Tuies did or what Michael Orr did and do or what they did. I have no idea. That's gonna be litigated and the court will find that. But obviously there have been some hurts that have happened and I hope that the family heals. I hope that Michael Orr heals and I hope that uh, justice is done and everything works out. But I want you guys to understand how important it is to really, really be there for people. One thing I will say pretty confidently is I think the two we should have ended this conservatorship years and years and years ago, as he has demonstrated he is an adult capable of making good decisions for himself and for his life. So when you watch this story, understand you're watching a family that's really going through hurts and difficult times. And this is a family that was once quite close. And I'm using the word family because the Tuies did take him in and I'm gonna use that word family, but this is a family that was once quite close and lived a life as a family. And now there's some hurts and some harms and uh, let's let the courts decide. I, I always watch social media and see people commenting and I'm just so, disappointed at how ugly human beings can be. Let the court system do what the court system does. And our job is just to observe, but ob observe with a good heart and open heart and just let the family go through what they're going through. And in your own families, put love first, do what's in the best interest of the people that you are caring for and things will always work out. So thanks for watching this video. Love you guys so much. Continue to support my channel by subscribing. Hit the bell so you get notified every time we post a video. The Therapist React series, we post a video every single day, Monday through Friday. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time.